Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build a city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. We are sons of the morning, we are daughters of day. The ones who has loved us has brightened our way. Let us build a city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us have no fear in approaching the throne of grace to receive mercy. Good morning, everybody. Brothers and sisters, and all those who are listening to us live on the internet and on TV, we welcome each one of you here to the shrine of Our Lady and this sacred place where heaven touched earth. We come before her in thanksgiving for the ending of this pilgrimage from Ireland, for all the graces and blessings that we have received from Our Lady and from each other in these last four days. We praise God and thank God for all those graces and the graces that are only beginning in our lives. Dearest brothers and sisters, conscious that each one of us are sinners, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work true prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We be seated now for our reading. The reading is a reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of the heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city, here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people and he shall be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now. I am making the whole of creation new. 
This is the word of the Lord. And Michael will sing the responsorial psalm. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour, for he has looked with mercy on my lowliness. And my name shall be forever exalted. For the mighty God has done great things for me, and his mercy will reach from age to age and holy 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 is his name he has mercy in every generation. He has revealed his power and his glory. He has cast down the mighty in their arrogance and has lifted up the meek and the lowly. He has come to help his servant Israel. He remembered his promise to our fathers and holy, holy, holy is his name. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them, just as he was in the boat. And other boats were with him. And a great storm of wind arose, and the waves bet into the boat so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and they said to him, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? And he awoke and he rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were filled with awe, and they said to one another, who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Did you ever imagine that the Lord is asleep when you're praying? He's not listening to you. He's in the boat, asleep. And you often think, look at himself in the Gospel today. All cosy, in the middle of a storm snoring away to his heart's content. And here you are being battled around in the boat, water flying in around you, the wind blowing at you, 
and you think that's the end. And every time you look around, he's asleep. It's a bit like that sometimes in married life, isn't it? But, but, but he can become she as well, remember. We have to be very inclusive these days. The fear that can set in into our lives and when something comes at us in family life, even in our religious life, even in our church, things can come like a storm, suddenly blow up. And that's what happened to the disciples. And it fills them with this terrifying fear. But do you know what is in the gospel? What have they done? They've taken their eyes off him. They take their eyes off him and they're focusing on the waves and the wind. And the wind howling at them. And do you ever hear wind whistling? We do that too in our own society. We listen to a wind howling at us through media and through everything else. We listen to it and we believe it. And it blows and it blows and it fills us with fear. Terrifies us. Everything we hear, everything that's put before our eyes, and instead of liberating us, it captures us and it destroys our peace. When Our Lady came at 12 o'clock every day on this spot, it was a gentle breeze. The leaves would flutter on the hallmokes fluttering gentle breeze and like a, a Jew descending she would come down right on that spot a Jew descending not a storm no no fear peace and the children said she was brighter than the sun now you try to look up at the sun you can't she was brighter and yet they could look at her very peacefully God does not come as a storm God's words do not come as a storm. They come as a very gentle breeze. And we prefer gentle breezes. But we put all our energy and all our fears into the winds that howl at us. And the thing is, you start believing it. As a priest, if I had to believe in everything I read and everything I see and everything I hear about the church, you'd say, oh, it's gone to blazes. That's the point. I might as well give up. Your vocation crisis and religious houses closing. And you say, what's the end? Lord, here it is. I might as well give up. Go off and get married. I'm going to listen to it. Because I know it's not true. Because the light of faith will continue. That's the Lord's promise. I am with you till the end of days. Things around us will change. there will never be the end. Because you cannot put out the light of Christ. You cannot put it out. In 1917... Under the government of this country, which was communist, priests were brought, rounded up and numbered. Religious houses were closed. And one little church, because it was in the middle of nowhere, stayed open. Fatima. Now you imagine me, the poor parish priest, when the apparition started. Oh no, they're going to close us down. And that was the fear even for the children. We can't stop this, but this is what the Lord wants. The church was to be expelled from Portugal. Get out. Because they didn't trust the church. Get out. And they tried to destroy every religious image in a public place was to be destroyed. And they were. They were piled high and burnt in front of the people. But they kept their faith. Everything was taken from them. And here in the middle of a little orchard of trees, heaven came down. They had no chapel. They had no great basilica. And far away even from the parish church, she chose a little tree, a small, fragile little tree, to come on. And this became the greatest church in Portugal, a field. You see what God does? He turns things upside down. And if we listen to the prevailing winds, you will give up. You'll give up. You'll depress yourself. And you say, there, that's true. There is only one truth. There's only one truth. There is only one God. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came in human flesh. There is no other. We believe in one God, and he is faithful to us. So whatever is going on in your life, whatever storm is blowing today, whatever water is splashing at you, whatever is getting you down, listen to the voice of God. And in this place, listen to the Queen of Peace. The Queen of Peace. Listen to her. The apostles eventually turned around and noticed, oh yeah, he's in the bed. 
he's here, he's with us, we're not going to drown. How could you drown with him in your life? You can't. How are the twelve of them going to drown and he there with them? He who created the sun and the stars, he who created the crashing winds, you cannot sink with the Lord Jesus in your life. You'll sink with all the others. You'll sink to the bottom. But with him, you'll have a rough, rough patch. You'll get sprayed with water. You'll feel a bit rocky sometimes. But he never abandons you. He is the boat. And at your baptisms, we were put into the boat with him. He claimed us as his own. When the priest anointed your little head and your little chest, you became his and his alone. And he never gets out of your life. You cannot get rid of him. People often come to us today in our modern Ireland and say, Father, I want to be taken out of the baptismal record. Said, no, well, you can scribble your name out. But I can't take what's on your soul. I can't take that away. And God will not take it away, no matter how much you deny him. He is in your boat today. And as we sail home through the sky, he goes with us. And you have to bring the peace of this place with you. And the storms that you're going to encounter, constantly look in your life and say, he's here with me. He's here in here. And that's why we receive communion. It's the only sacrament we take inside. And it's the sacrament. He enters into your heart. And that's where he stays, just for today. Do not be afraid. He tells us 15 times in the gospel. It's the most repeated word the Lord says. Do not be afraid. I am with you and I will never abandon you. Stay in the boat. And if you do decide to get out of the boat. Which some of us tried to do. Touch your leg over the edge. and said I'm going first. Remember further on in the gospel. Remember Peter did that. Lifted up his skirts and off he went across the water. Our Lord walks on water. So he'll go after you. Because you're his. We have a lovely, lovely title of Our Lady in Ireland. Realt Namora. Star of the sea. She's star of the sea. Because when the boats are at sea at night, they look for the star which brings them to the harbour. The harbour. And wherever part of the ocean you're in, look to the star of the sea. Because the harbour is heaven. That's where it's, we're going. That's what we live here for, is the peace of heaven, the bliss and heaven. Keep your eye on that. But to get there, we have been given a star. And the star reflects the sun. The sun is S-O-N and not S-U-N. The star is Mary. She reflects it. She reflects the glory of her son into our world, as she has done in so many different places. Let the star guide you to the harbour. Keep your hands on your beads. Keep your beads upon you. And when you're in the middle of fear, think of that chain in your hand and say, Mother, anchor me down here and don't let me out of here. Your hand is in her hand. And she's pointing, pointing to her son, the safe harbour, heaven on earth and heaven itself. We stand now for our prayers of the faithful. Here at this sacred spot, where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his Son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary, in a spirit of penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods 
among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, Consular of the Afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, that they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here present, and for our families, for our nation, and for our cities, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the, to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son, and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ Jesus, your son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. I now invite Bernie to bring the petitions to the altar to be placed on the place where Our Lady appeared. We leave all these prayers of our hearts for all those who have asked us to pray for them here in this place, and we leave them with Our Lady and not bring them home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We beseech it now for our offertory. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Fatima, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Raise them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary of Fatima. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mean the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. From the cross, Jesus said to his mother, This is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands and all will understand you shall see the face of god and live be not afraid i go before you always come follow me and i will give you rest if you pass through raging waters in the sea you shall not drown if you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell and death is at your side, Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And I will give you rest. Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. 
And if wicked men insult and hate you, all because of me, blessed, blessed are you. Be not afraid, I go before you always, come follow me, and I will give you rest. Be not afraid, I go before you always, come follow me, and I will give you rest. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before him now with reverence and fear. In him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks to thee, the ever holy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with thee. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. My Jesus, my love and my mercy, now and forever. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Just before our concluding prayer, I suppose I'm part of the pilgrims from Ireland to thank Karina and Elsa and for all who work with Joe Walsh Tours. 
you are forever in our prayers for your kindness and goodness to us over this last week and giving us such a wonderful pilgrimage. So we will pray for you and your children and your family. And you pray for us too, because you can stay here. We have to go home. We pray and we leave here in Our Lady's place, knowing that she will look after all our intentions. She is truly a mother, and a mother will never forget us. And we will see her again. That is our promise to her. We will come when we hear her call to come back to Fatima in her own time. But from here, we bring Fatima in our hearts, bring it to our homes and back to our own country. Let us pray. Lord, we offer you these. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, may Almighty God bless you and your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. The title so wondrous fills all our desire. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our mother, the church upon earth. And bless, sweetest lady, the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. For those who wish to have objects blessed, that's not your husband or your wife, but if you wish to have anything blessed, religiously, consecrated, I'll bless them now. But I'll give you first the Dominican blessing on the rosary beads. There's two blessings. There's a blessing on the chain itself and a second blessing on the cross, which makes it a happy death cross. The Lord be with you. Through the intercession of Mary Immaculate, Queen of the Holy Rosary, our Holy Father, St. Dominic, the saints and blessers of our order, may Almighty God bless these crowns of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May all who carry it on their person, keep it on their home or wear it, be blessed by the same Virgin Mary and welcomed into the glory of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's why we kiss the cross, because it's a blessed object. A second blessing is put on it. Now, for all religious objects. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, blessed Jacinto and blessed Francisco, may Almighty God bless these images which will adorn our homes and given as gifts to our families and friends to remind them that the peace that we have experienced in this place may be brought to their hearts this day and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 